walks alongside. And here, here are the colors. She is like. Back to reading Akamoth. I won't lie, I did fall asleep for three hours on my couch. Right after the first clip, that's what happens when I try to read in the morning and I haven't had caffeine and it's raining in Texas. I literally cannot stay awake. Like it was so dark, so gloomy. I was gone. I was asleep. Wanting to walk on my walking pad more this year. That's what we're gonna do while I continue reading Akamoth. And I get a lot of questions of like, does it, do I get dizzy? Do I get sick on this? No, I walk so slow. It's at 1.5 kilometer. I don't know. I'm also in my like half pajamas, hookahs on, a shirt, no bra, honestly. We're just, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna read. I wonder if my neck is gonna hurt because I've never, I normally read on my Kindle, like if you see the gooseneck, I normally pull it down and read walking like that. I've never read like a physical book. So we'll see how this feels on the neck. I feel like it'd be nice if I had a book stand or something that could go right here. Might have to look into that after. Let's get into it. I'm literally on page eight. That's how far I got on the couch, you guys. Literally, I could not stay awake. I watched Carrie Ken Reed's video on the first book, Akadar. She did an entire plot breakdown. It was two and two hours and 15 minute video. And I watched it on two times speed on my, I watched some of it on my phone and I put it on the TV. That was so helpful because as I started reading this, I was like, wait, I kind of need a refresher. There were so many things that I had already forgotten about. So that was really helpful. I will like link that down below because that was so helpful. And I can't wait to watch her plot breakdown of Akamoth. That one's probably gonna be like double the length because this book is, I think, significantly bigger than the first book. Listening to the graphic audio. I'm really not enjoying it really at all. Honestly, um, I'm about to straighten my hair, so that's why I'm doing this. I posted on my story that this book alone has put me into a terrible, terrible reading slump. I think the main thing I don't like about it is Feyre, which is the main girl we're following. I think that she is so whiny and so bratty. And as soon as any minor inconvenience or something happens that she doesn't like, she just whines about it forever. And she storms off and she throws a fit. And I think it just feels like it's that over and over and over again. Like she's constantly being let down. So she's just such a crybaby. And that's so annoying to read about and I honestly think that's just why I'm not enjoying it. I think it's ridiculous to push through a book that's 624 pages. I don't like 90% of it but like the ending is okay. I really don't think an ending ever makes up for it in my opinion. But I will say the part I just got to, I don't even know what chapter I'm on because the graphic audio, the chapters are different, but I know that I have like a hundred pages left. The part I just read actually was really good. I did enjoy that part where, if you've read it, you'll know what I mean, where she finds out a big piece of the puzzle and Sarah J Mass is basically all of the little breadcrumbs she sprinkled throughout the first book and the second book, she's kind of wrapping up now and kind of like giving us like, oh yeah, when that happened, that actually meant this. So this is like a very satisfying part of the book, but it's still hard because I think I just don't really like Feyre's personality. I am wondering though, now that she has the information that she has, I wonder if she'll be less annoying. Cause I felt like in the first book, she wasn't annoying. But I think that's because she had to be, like she had to have a really strong character because she had to take care of her family. But I feel like in the second book, it's been very damsel in distress and she's been such a crybaby. It's, she gives me like pick me energy. 
And I don't think that there's anything more annoying to listen to than somebody who's just like, pick me, choose me, love me. So pick me, choose me, love me. I'm honestly feeling like two stars for this book. I right now in this moment, I feel like I don't care about this series anymore. I don't care to finish it. I don't care to know what happens, but I don't want to be rash. I, ha I did take the past week off of listening to it because it literally put me into slump. Today is January 19th and I have not read a single book because this book like just killed me inside. I'm gonna straighten my hair and finish the rest of this. Hour 23 left. Hair is straight. <laughs> She's a sleigh. Tomorrow we're doing a feature in a magazine for our like town. So the hair, I kind of was just wanting, you know, straight hair also it's been like three months since my last trim, so I kind of wanted to see length check, see what it looks like. Giving sleek, skinny egghead is just the vibe. The realities of being a reader girly and a mother and a wife is I have to like cook dinner I have and listen to audiobook or try to read while I cook dinner or do like other random othering tasks. One of my goals for 2024 was to eat at home five to six times out of the week and I'm killing it. It's the 19th of January and it's been, it's been a sleigh. I've only eaten out twice. And then when I went out of town, obviously I ate out. But besides that, we're looking good. It's funny because I like transitioned into a booktube channel, but at the same time, like I love sharing just like random womanhood fun things because most of the people that watch my channel are women. So it's like, we're all, you know, we can do a lot of things. We, we wear a lot of hats and reading is just one of them. Anyway, I have like all my recipes saved on my Pinterest if you wanna go see. This is, we've had this like four times already this month. It's so freaking good. So anyway, I'm gonna make this. It's really quick. I'm almost done. I have like 60 pages left. I looked in my book. That's equating to 31 minutes left. You know, another thing I will say about this is the spice scenes are incredibly painfully cringy. I skip past it. I'm like, I cannot. I already don't care for spice in any of my books, but I feel like specifically how Sarah J. Mass writes her spice is so uncom like uncomfortable. I just can't. That might just be because this is a zero pornography household. So I don't know. I just can't do it. It's so weird to me like i just can't get over how weird it is like earlier a scene popped up and i'm just like skipping it and i'm like uh, 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 like literally cringing literally cringing and i stand by it i i said what i said i'll be cassian side casually positioning himself between me and the ancient warrior four corpse last time i saw you you were warning amarantha sheets I'm shook, absolutely shook at the end of this book. Four minutes left in the book. Oh. I finished it. <laughs> I just finished Akamoff. And I think now my overall thoughts, I did really love the ending. I feel like she actually did set up the next book almost too perfectly to where I, now I do feel like I need, I, I actually want to finish the rest of the series. Not like, oh, I need to, but like, I actually want to. I think that now that Feyre has hopefully stepped into a different position, that she won't be so like damsel in distress, waiting for men to save her. And hopefully she just won't be as annoying character because the entire next book, and I think the book after that is about Feyre. And I, yeah, I just need her to like be not herself. I need her to be different. Um, but I am also, I feel like the book was just too long. I don't think that I should have to read 600 pages in order for like the last 60 pages to be like, oh, that was actually really good. No, that's like, that's not what I would consider a great book. Before the ending, I would rate it two. I think now I'll rate it three. <laughs> Time for another Akatar day. I picked up A Court of Wings and Ruin this morning. Call me crazy, but I honestly want to finish this entire book today. I am so far on page 
254 out of 703. So we will see how that goes. Honestly, I'm surprised I've even made it this far. I've been listening on Audible as well while I'm reading. In popular opinion, I really like the normal audio version versus the graphic audio. I feel like, again, you guys know, it was kind of annoying to me, but specifically in the graphic audio, because she's so whiny, the person who's speaking for her character obviously is playing into Feyre's personality. So it's a very whiny voice like all the time. Whereas I feel like the normal one, it's just kind of red. Like it's not bland. It's not like she was looking back. Like there's still some like voice acting going into it, but there's not sound effects and there's not different casts for each person. Like Reese doesn't have his own. It's all just said by one person. Honestly, I'm liking it so much more. I'm liking this book in general so much more than the first one, I feel like the conflict in the beginning, Feyre's on her crap, like she's not playing games, she's being sneaky, she's, I think, I just like this one so much more. And it's kind of what I thought, like she's really leaning into this new role that she has. Nesta's a little bit, she's in her bratty era right now, so <laughs> at least there's not that much about her though, because she's definitely in her bratty, whiny era. Welcome to my little craft station. I am continuing to read Akawar. I really, really wanna be done tonight. I am literally listening to this audio on four times speed. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. It's basically the only thing I've done all day. And I still have four hours and 21 minutes left and that is on three X speed. I'm not even joking you, literally three X speed. Um, because 700 pages for what, honestly? I am really enjoying the book, but 700 pages is crazy. And I don't like to spend more than like four days reading a book. Otherwise I just get like tired of it. So I am listening to it on three times speed. Honestly, I'm a YouTube watcher to X speed. And sometimes I would watch it faster if I could, but YouTube only goes up to two X. So I love the audible goes up higher. I understand it because I always listen to everything on 2x speed. I was scrolling Pinterest, but I kind of got tired of scrolling. <laughs> I needed some other things to help me pass the time when I'm trying to like listen to audiobooks and stuff. Ordered some crafty things off Amazon. Learning book, it's like a bunch of gnomes. And I'll have everything linked down below. I always have my Amazon storefront linked down below. My book club, my Goodreads, Instagram, all that is always linked down below. This is watercolor notebook i don't always want to like color in the same thing so i got like a couple di different ones so that i could have different things to color oh my gosh that one was giving gilmore girls it's called easy peasy oh i like the grapes i want to do the grapes fantasy vibes i feel like this would be fun to do a lot of cool cool ones and it's like this there's a little thing so you could swatch all the colors toolkit i like that it comes in a small thing because that's easy to store but these are metallic i thought that'd be really pretty color pencils these are faber castell Our update time. I've read every single book except the last one, A Court of Silver Flames. We're going to be starting this one today. Yesterday I finished A Court of Wings and Ruins and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I have never in my life read such large books in singular days or in like 48 hours. I actually did like the little novella. I thought it was cute. I thought it was like, it felt like a palette cleanser, but still in the same world. And I think it's gonna probably set up for the next book 
perfectly. I also did not know that Sarah J Mass originally intended for it just to be a three book series. So these three, there's actually another book coming out. Like I don't think the series is even over. So I thought that was interesting. So technically I have finished like the OG what it was supposed to be. Now I'm on to Nesta's story. So I guess Feyre and Reese and Tamlin, their story is kind of like done maybe? I don't know, I guess I'll find out. I'm gonna start A Court of Silver Flames. This is Nesta's story, which is the which is Feyre's sister and Feyre is the main girl from these books. And I'm also starting a TBR jar, so I'm gonna listen to the audio. I'm gonna buy the audio with the credit and do my TBR jar. I have finally been released from the shackles that is this freaking series. I finished the last book a few days ago, finishing it in a week, seven days total, woo woo, maybe. Yeah, so I think it was seven days exactly. I like freaking 3.5 X speeded this one. And I have to say this one was my favorite. And I know what you're probably thinking, Wow, the smuttiest one was her favorite. I wonder why. Actually, no. I did a lot of smut research after this because I will admit there is a lot about the book community that I still don't know, still don't fully understand, still don't fully know what I got myself into. What are the rules of this place? What are the laws of this place? I don't know. I'm just sharing what I personally think as a 26 year old girl that loves to read, trying to be honest, but also trying to be respectful, knowing that this is like an iconic series. You know what I mean? Like I, that can't be denied the popularity of it. Obviously people love it for a reason. With that being said, Nesta, I think is my favorite storyline. I think that I loved her character development. I love Sarah J Mass's writing in this one. I would love to know because it was only supposed to be a three book series, the time that passed between her writing the third book and this book, I feel like her writing style really developed. Now, if there was hardly any time between these two, I probably just sound silly because I don't know, I felt like I could notice a difference between the story of the first three books versus this one specifically. And also, Spice versus smut, from my understanding, are two different things. Like, there's a difference between having spice in a book and books that are actually smutty. And from my understanding, from what my research, these would not be considered like literal smut books. I think I'd agree with that. I think that the spicy scenes are very easily skippable. I would definitely say you need to be 18 or older to read this for sure. But besides that, even if you're not reading the spice scenes, there is just an overall, these four, the last four, there's just generally a sexual tension to the entire book. So even when Sarah J Maas isn't describing explicit scenes, which again are easily skippable, you can tell when they're coming, just throughout the entire book, they're like, they're turned on, you know, they're like ready to do it at any moment. So that's why I would say like, you definitely wanna be of age if you're reading these books. I would say still overall, like a three, three and a half star series for me. I didn't feel that connected to the characters. I don't think this is a really a world that I will think about often, but I think it was fun. And I love now that I know what everybody else knows about this series. And now I could look at the fan art and it won't be any spoilers. And so it's a fun, it's a fun, it's a fun little thing to be a part of, to know now what everyone's talking about. Now do I read Crescent City? Or do I read Throne of Glass? I have both series already, so I could start whichever one that I wanted to. I kind of want to read Crescent City. I think that I will probably like this one the most out of all of her work. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have read any of the Akatar books, let me know what you think, what you would rate the series overall. I have sat on my, sat on my ratings for a couple days now and I would still say like a solid three, three and a half. I'm trying to remember like what my ratings were for the books. I think I rated this one four. I'd say all of these are three stars, like three, three, maybe four, three, three and a half, three, and maybe another four. That's pretty good. I would say three, three and a half overall. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.